Hi everybody, and today we're gonna consider a MicroTik Router OS Capsman Wi-Fi controller, just a simple configuration. So I have just a simple topology, and um, our Capsman wireless controller is based on a Haplite router, actually. Uh, and our router is uh, configured in a bridge mode with an external DHCP server and NAT services. You see there's this, uh, just a separate router. You can deploy Capsman wireless controller on any MikroTik router hardware, for instance Hoplite, Sirius routers and so on. Also we have an um, access switch and um, our access points are connected to that switch. So I'm using a uh, wing box to connect to the MikroTik router and uh, the first step is to check our router OS image version. It should include wireless package. You can check it in the system packages. Actually our OS version on the Capsman controller should be the same. Uh, as an access point. You can upgrade it uh, manually. We'll just go to the system, packages, this is the package list. Then we should simply drag and drop previously downloaded image. Something like that. Uh, here we go. Alright. And um, then uh, I would recommend to uh, reboot it from uh, CLI, CLI. With a system reboot command. Yes. We'll just wait for that. Alright, and um, then just run system router board upgrade command to upgrade it. Yes, and after that, we should reboot it again. Okay, so um, the second step, the second step is to create. Um, bridge interface which should include our physical interface or it can be several interfaces so um, now we're going to create a bridging between our physical interfaces or if it is only one interface then it will be put into the bridge mode so uh, let's check it out our interfaces it's common interface print okay I have two interfaces on my <coughs> router it's a virtual router actually so then I should create a bridge I use some um, interface bridge common this mod is for creating a bridges then I type add name bridge Wi-Fi this command assigns a name for the bridge and uh, interface oh excuse me Mm -hmm. Interface <coughs> bridge board 
let's come and assign some as I said interfaces to our bridges add uh, bridge bridge Wi-Fi interface ether1 ether1 interface bridge port and add bridge bridge Wi-Fi interface ether2 ether2 okay so let's check it mm. Okay, I have two interfaces and they are assigned to a bridge interface named Bridge Wi-Fi. Well, um, now we are ready to configure our Capsman controller actually. Again, we should connect to the router via Vimbox. Okay and we need a capsman tab here uh, capsman tab uh, and what we need is um, channel tab channels tab then click plus and channel one put frequency here with uh, will be 20 megahertz we should choose a band band will be BGN extension channel should be disabled apply then copy for channel 2 the frequency will be a uh, 2437 apply and again we should copy that for channel 3 and frequency for channel 3 will be 2462 apply ok ok and ok ok now uh, we have configured our channels and now we're going to configure data data paths data paths click plus name of will be data path one um, now we should choose the bridge interface that we previously created bridge Wi-Fi and then we should um, take client to client forwarding click apply ok uh, so you can create uh, several data path here as many as you wish it depends on your configuration actually ok then we need a security configuration tab just click plus name will be security one authentication type will be WPA PSK WPA2 PSK uh, the password here alright and we do it apply and press OK here. Again, uh, you can create uh, several um, security profiles. Just click plus, and uh, it will be another name. And okay. Anyway, you can create it as many as you wish. 
as it required. Then we need a configuration tab here. Just again, press plus. Name for configuration will be CFG1. We should choose the mode. It will be APA, AP. Now we're going to choose um, SSID. For example, it will be the internet. Um, we should uh, choose the country here. For example, the United States. channel tab it will be the channel leave it, leave it as it is we don't need it up data path uh, will be a uh, data path one and security will be security one Just press apply here, press OK, and if you need uh, another configuration, if you have a several configuration, of course you can press plus again and create uh, another configuration as well. If you need another SSID actually, in case if another SSID is needed. So then um, we need a Capsman tab here. Again, Capsman tab here. And what we need is uh, provisioning. Where we, okay, provisioning, click plus. And uh, in the provisioning, we should. Uh, Change the action to create dynamic enabled. Then master configuration will be a CFG1, and uh, slave configuration will be also CFG1 actually. Then uh, the informant will be cap. Okay, press apply and uh, okay. Then we choose interfaces tab. We had here a manager. Just uh, click enable, apply, and uh, OK. As we see, as we see, um, two interfaces are created: cap one and cap two. Actually, it means that. Uh, our Casman controller now is operational. For now, uh, we're gonna configure our access point to my access point, and I need to configure it for um, our Casman controller. So uh, I choose wireless tab here. So press um, Cap, and I should enable that. I choose interface here. It will be um, WLAN one, and discover interface will be Ethernet one. Then I apply it, press OK, and we should wait for for a minute. Okay, now we can see that our access point is managed by Capsman, and we have uh, SSID Internet previously configured on the Capsman controller. So that's it guys. Um, our controller is ready to serve and see you later. Bye bye.